Hi, good afternoon and welcome to Cooking Uncovered. My name is Miriam and this afternoon this hummus recipe is so delicious I just have to share it with you. So I'm going to use as a surprise great ingredients artichoke hearts and basil as my herb. And of course the base of a hummus um, is pretty much the same. So I have here, I'm going to double up on my recipe because I need some of this great appetizer for tonight and I need some for tomorrow. And it keeps very well in the fridge, so why not double up the batch? So I have here my two cans of chickpeas that I have rinsed. And I've rinsed them off so that there's no more of the uh, canning preserves, uh, preservative liquid in there. So hummus. Here we go. Chickpeas. Three cloves of garlic. In it goes. I'm also going to use, just tonight, I'm just going to use the greens of some uh, spring onions. So I'm going to use the green of that, which is going to give an amazing flavor to this. So about three, in that goes. Here I have some fresh basil leaves. Now, I know this time of year this gets really expensive because you get a little package of these. So I've washed these up and I'm going to put in about four, five, maybe six basil leaves and they're going to be just phenomenal in there. So basil leaves in. To that, I want to add about, let's measure this, uh, two tablespoons of, let's go start with one tablespoon of lime juice and we'll add more later if we have to. That's perfect. Now we're going to add the tahini. So two tablespoons of tahini. This is kind of my base. The tahini, the chickpeas, the garlic, salt and pepper, of course. But to that, we're going to add some artichoke hearts. Now, this is right out of the jar. And I don't really mind if not a little bit of the, the fragrant oils get in there. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of these lovely artichoke um, quarters. Okay, that's going to go in. And to that, we're going to add some olive oil. So let's start out with a quarter of a cup of olive oil. I do like the way that the olive oil really adds to the smoothness of the hummus. All right, so that goes in. Let's start that up. So we're going to blend that to start with, and then we're going to start adding stuff. So it takes a few minutes. Let's put this to the back. To that, now I'm going to add some stock. So we're going to start with one cup of vegetable stock. So that's just going to blend up. It's going to be delicious. And I have here at the ready my salt and pepper, which I want to add, of course. So I'm going to add a few vegetable stock up to a cup. Perfect. Okay, I can stop that now because it's coming close to the consistency that I want. Now, it's, oh, it's beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. That green from the onions and the basil is just like popped right out. Mmm. Mm. Oh, that's so tasty. All right, so now salt, pepper, now, if you wanted to add some heat here, um, this is the time you would add a little bit of a dash of cayenne or some hot sauce, but honestly, the garlic kind of adds a little bit and it's so, so tasty. Mmm, <clears throat> lovely. Let's blend that up again. So this is perfect. So tonight, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this in a in a bowl and I'm going to have some veggie sticks with some um, crackers and it's going to be perfect as an appetizer because our neighbors are coming over. So here is this beautiful, oh wow, that's beautiful. See that? And it's really, really tasty. Mm. Mm. You would think that the, the fresh basil and the green spring onions would kind of contrast but they really, really melt together well. So, I hope you've enjoyed this. This is my great artichoke heart and spring onion um, and basil. 
Hamas for tonight. So thanks for joining me.